Using the index and match functions together is very similar to using the VLOOKUP function, but it's more flexible than the VLOOKUP and gives you more freedom in how you organize your data. We tend to default to the VLOOKUP because it is easier, but there are benefits to the index and match functions. First, you're not forced to organize your data so that the lookup is in the leftmost column. The lookup value can be pulled from any column in your data. You can also add and delete columns in your data without affecting the formula results. Index and match are also much faster if your data contains a lot of complex array formulas that Excel needs to sort through looking for the values you want to return. You've probably noticed that I'm referring to index and match as a single entity when they're actually two different functions. But let me show you why they work so well together. In this example, I have a list of apartments that are ranked based on their occupancy. Rolling Meadows is ranked first because it has the highest occupancy rate of 100% fully occupied. Let's say that I want to find the apartment complex ranked fourth. I need a function that will search in the fifth column of my data and return the value out of the first column. I can't use the VLOOKUP to do this. Instead, I'm going to start the index function using the first argument list that they give me here. The first argument is the array. This is like the table array argument in the VLOOKUP. I'm going to use the data in A6 through H10. The second argument is the row number. This is where I'll put my match function, since we don't necessarily know which row we want, and this can change as we update the ranking that we're searching for. I'm going to begin a match function here. But since I may not know the entire syntax by heart, I'll click the word match in the formula bar, and my function arguments will switch over to the match function. In the match function, my first argument is the lookup value. And I am looking up the ranking 4 out of cell B2. So I will use B2 as the lookup value. Next, I need the lookup array. This is the location where I might find a ranking of 4. I will select all of the ranks as the lookup array. The match type is similar to the range lookup. It's not a required field, but I'm going to use a zero here, which will search for an exact match for the rank. Before I click OK, I do need to return to the index function and finish it. I'm going to click on the word index in the formula to switch back to that function. You can see the full match function syntax has been nested in the row number argument. The last argument that I need will indicate what column of data I want my result to come from. I would like to return the apartment complex name, which is in the first column of the array, so I will use a column number of 1. My formula is now complete, and mountaintop view apartments has been returned as the complex ranked fourth. I can change the ranking and see that the formula updates the result.